I'd like to greet everybody again with another beautiful Monday afternoon. As always, Monday is the start of a new week for everyone. And uh, I just pray that uh, the Lord will keep us safe and uh, will always protect us, keep us company, and His angels will always be given charge over us. Dahil um, we got a lot of things uh, going on especially sa Dabao City where uh, uh, COVID-19 is increasing, we have to pray and we have to pray for protection for our families and the blood of Jesus Christ to cover us all. So trust the Lord, find your confidence in Him and always uh, run to Him. Whenever you're afraid, run to God and He will always keep you safe. So this is Monday, June 28. And what I have for you right now is simply an exhortation from uh, the book of Psalm, chapter 96. We finished everything about the heart last week. And I told you we are starting something new. And just for a start, just for this week, let me just share this important uh, psalm to you and we will read from verse 1 to uh, verse 6 and i will read from the king james version O sing unto the lord a new song sing unto the lord or jehovah all the earth sing unto the lord or jehovah bless his name show forth his salvation from day to day declare his glory among the heathen his wonder his wonders among all the people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before Him. Strength and beauty is in His sanctuary or are in His sanctuary. Praise God. Let's all uh, come before the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you and we ask for your presence, for your anointing to be with us, Lord God. As we have this um, taping, we pray, Lord God, for a mighty flow of your thoughts unto, uh, into my heart and uh, my lips will speak forth all that you have uh, laid down. And I pray or lay down in me and I pray, Lord God, that you will use me as always with your anointing and your power and clarity of words. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to uh, take a close look of Psalm 96. It begins with praise. Verse 1 says, Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless His name, and uh, show forth His salvation from day to day. So we are encouraged to sing to Yehovah. God loves us when uh, we sing to Him. Singing is something that actually pleases the heart of God. He is always a God who wants to be worshipped. He wants us to always create a melody unto Him. Sa Tagalog, hinaharaan na po natin ang ating Panginoon. And how are we to sing unto Him? we are to sing a new song. Now, that new song means something that is fresh. And I believe this is something that comes from His Spirit. Whether that be a new song that uh, you learn from other albums or other churches, or whether this is a song that the Lord gives to you by His Spirit, meaning to say the Lord calls you to compose this song. And so the encouragement here is that every one of us must learn how to create a new song for God. Okay, tayo mismo ang magko-compose and we sing it to the Lord. Ayaw din kasi ng Lord ng mga lumang-lumang-lumang kanta. Although He still receives them, but He always wants to receive new songs. Okay, and uh, He encourages all the earth to sing to Him. To sing and to bless His name and to show forth His salvation from day to day. And to declare His glory uh, among the heathens, the people who do not know God, 
we are to declare his uh, glory. And I believe this has to do with uh, sharing the gospel and his wonders among all the people. And what is the reason for this? Let's go now to verse 4. Himayin po natin ito. Verse 4 up to verse 6. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. The reason why we are to uh, sing unto the Lord, why we are to bless His name, why we are to show forth His salvation, declare His glory, and His wonders among the people or all the people, because Jehovah is great. Okay? He is great. And the Hebrew word used is, you're familiar with this, the Hebrew word gadol. And gadol means gigantic, something huge, large, enormous, colossal, gargantuan, and titanic. That is who our God is. He is great. He is enormous. And that really reveals who He is and how powerful our God is. Kaya whenever we are dealing with our problems, we are dealing with difficulties, you have to look to your God. Worship Him first, sing to Him, declare His glory and honor and His majesty because He is great. He is great, awesome, mighty, enormous, uh, gigantic, and He will always take care of you. He will always watch over you. God will not fail you. His power, His greatness will not fail you. We are weak, right? We are frail. May kahinaan tayo, we have limitations, but we have a great God. And because we have a great God, we can always depend on Him. We can always uh, declare who He is in our lives. Whatever our problems are, our Father is always there. He is greater than everything. He is greater, greater than the devil. Don't be afraid of the devil. Your God is great and greater than Him. Maliit lang po. Ang devil sa harap ng Lord, he is just uh, a pinpoint before God. So never be afraid of uh, the devil, but look to your great God, your awesome God. So continue on, for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. So we are to praise him. We are to understand that he is great, but there's a word here, greatly to be praised. And I want you to take a look at that word greatly. The Hebrew word is me'od. Okay? And it's kind of hard for us to translate this in English. Kaya ginami dito is greatly. Me'od is uh, actually a word, parang uh, adverb siya to, to uh, make uh, something uh, big or to be emphasis. Like uh, the word tov, okay? You can say tov me'od, and that means uh, uh, very good, okay? Uh, very good. Or we can say uh, shalom me'od, that means uh, very shalom to you. So this word greatly is, sabi natin, it is, uh, it can be <laughs> translated as very, though, kulang po, because me'od talks about uh, any, uh, the, the, there is no limitation to it. This is superlative. Sa ating lingwahe, with uh, our, uh, in our language, this is the word pinaka, okay? Pinaka mataas, pinaka maganda, uh, pinaka dakila. So, God is me'od. Me'od to be praised, Okay? So, He is highly, endlessly to be praised. You can put all of your energy. And the word me'od is translated in Deuteronomy chapter uh, 6, uh, I think verse uh, 6, uh, verse starting at verse 4 up to verse 6 that has to do with Shema. 
And we are to love the Lord with all our hearts, with all our mind, and with all our strength. And the word strength there is meod. We are to love Him, love him with our varies. Okay? So, it means that uh, we are to really put forth our energy as we praise God. If you want to shout aloud, shout aloud. If you want to dance greatly like David before God, do so. Hindi matipid. Okay? Unless siguro may problema ka, you have to lift up your hands so highly before God. Because I noticed in dating may services tayo how people are limiting the, uh, the raising up of their hands. If you're gonna worship or praise God with me on, you put all of your energies, everything there, you give your best to God as you worship Him. Those of us who are on the platform and we lead people in worship, when we go back to our in-person uh, services, you better know how to worship God greatly or very, very, okay? Yun talagang pinaka the best. You have everything within you, all the strength, everything that the Spirit has given you in order to praise God. And He is to be feared uh, or respected. Yare is the Hebrew word above all gods. There is no other uh, gods that you are to fear or give reverence to and respect than Yehovah who is Gadol, who is great, who is big and enormous. He is to be respected. He, he, has, he, he is to be reverenced by everybody. And therefore, there comes this holy fear. Holy fear before the Lord. Just like Moses, when he encountered uh, God, Dun's uh, burning bush, when uh, God spoke to him, uh, he got afraid and he bowed down before God. That is exactly the picture of Yare or fear before God. You highly respect him. You have holy fear to the point you bow down before him in respect that you cannot even lift up your heads before him. You know, in ancient times, when, you are, when somebody, maybe a commoner, is summoned by a king and he is brought to his presence, you will bow down before him and you cannot even lift your heads. You are not to lift your heads until the king tells you, lift up your heads. All the while the king is talking to you, your heads are all bowed low before God. And that is respect, that is fear. And when you apply it before God, it is holy fear. And I, I like us to look at the, 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 what is uh, the thing that we are to be doing in respect to all the gods. He is to be feared above all gods. And I want us to look at this word, uh, gods. And uh, this has to do with the Elohim, small e, all the gods of uh, the world, all the gods of the universe. They are secondary or tertiary or pinakamababa sa Diyos. He is above all these gods. When you go to India, you will find huge idols of their gods. The elephant gods, uh, the, the woman god with many hands. You go to Thailand and you have this big Buddha uh, there. They have different gods. The bigger the gods, they think that uh, they are awesome. And sometimes they are fearful. Really fearful, scary what I'm saying. Just to take a look of the, at these uh, mga demon gods, uh, you will have not the holy fear. You will have really fear because nakakatakot ang mukha nila. 
But God is so beautiful. And you don't show that kind of a fear before God. Holy respect, holy reverence above all other gods. Because God is greatly to be praised. May odd. Okay, so he is above all gods. And uh, in explain dito ng Psalmist uh, verse 5, why we are not to fear uh, the gods of the world. And uh, God is to be feared above them. For all the gods of the nations are idols. They are idols. And, you know, when I looked at this word idol, in Hebrew, the Hebrew word is Elil. Okay, there is that word Elil, which, which means this is God. But the meaning of this is very interesting. Good for nothing. That's a Hebrew meaning of idols. Yeah, gods who are good for nothing. Ibig sabihin, walang pakailan. Okay, good for nothing. That's how you are to remember uh, idols. They are good for nothing. They may seem to be God, Elil, but they are good for nothing. And I don't know, huh? I, I, I'm just trying to suppose this. I was not able to really uh, get, uh, get into a dig uh, or study deeply here. These are false gods, but Elil, I don't know. Kung two words compound, compounded, Elil can be from the word Galil, which means uh, circle, to go around. Okay, and it means uh, God that simply you go around. Ikut lang lang ikut. Walang nangyayari sa buhay. You call on them and they are not ab uh, able to save you. In places where there, uh, there are fires, sino nililigtas ng tao? Yung Diyos nila, instead ng Diyos nila, lumiligtas sa kanila, dala-dala po nila yung kanilang idols. Tumatakbo. They, I mean, their gods cannot save them. How foolish this is. Okay? Good for nothing. And those of you who are watching, please, right now, I want you to type good for nothing. Come on. Type it, good for nothing. Walang pakinabang, good for nothing. But the Lord made the heavens. Okay? As compared with the gods of the nations who are good for nothing, the Lord or Jehovah made the heavens. Okay? He made the heavens. He uh, created everything, meaning to say, He is the creator. He is the one who had uh, made everything, the maker of all things. So the Lord made the heavens. And it's very important for us to look at the word heaven seer. The Hebrew word is uh, shamayim, okay? And shamayim refers to everything that you see, the sky, uh, the, uh, the clouds, the planets, the moons, the stars, everything, the Milky Way, okay? Everything that you see in the endless sky, walang uh, end to the heavens. In fact, scientists are saying that the earth to this day is moving, okay? Stretching. And you know how interesting this is because uh, in the Bible and also in the Psalms, we find reference to God stretching out the heavens. He is the God who stretches the heavens. And maybe uh, the cause of this moving is God still stretching the heavens endlessly, endlessly, endlessly. So this is the God that we are to honor. This is the God that we are to praise. This is the great God. The psalmist is explaining how great God is, how big and enormous. And so this is the God we are to fear above all gods. So 
Don't worry about your situations. And please don't ever turn to an idol. An idol cannot save you. An idol cannot deliver you. Okay? They may look like a person. They may look like uh, a saint that had lived in the past. But we really don't know how they looked. And you say that this idol, this statue is able to save you. I'm sorry to say this, but that is the truth of the Bible. We have to remember the Ten Commandments. And the Second Commandment is that we are not to uh, make images of things in heaven, on th of things on the earth and under the earth. Because there is only one God. We are not even to create a form of God. I was watching Jessica So just a couple of uh, months ago, maybe two months ago, and uh, she is featuring this place done by someone who is rich, na sinasabi that this is heaven. Because this guy built uh, an image of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and he called, uh, uh, calls this heaven. You have to climb up many uh, uh, steps to go up to the God of uh, heaven. And he made an image of an old man, which they say is the father, and Jesus. And there is this dove, the Holy Spirit. How do you know that the father is an, uh, looks old, okay? Just because he is called the Ancient of Days, would it mean that he is an old man? You will be amazed with the beauty of the father, the greatness of this great God when you finally come to heaven. Don't believe in all this. You see, if that is your image of God, that is how God to you, an old man. But he is not an old man. He is the mighty God. And so let's go to verse 6. Honor and majesty are before him. Okay, let's look at these two words. Honor, what does honor mean? The Hebrew word is hod, okay? Hod. And this speaks about the grandeur of God, the imposing form of God and His uh, appearance. It can also point to His beauty, His calmness, and His excellence. Okay, th this is God. Uh, he is Hod. Okay, He is uh, imposing. He is very grand in uh, the way... Uh, he looks. So this is not the puny little God. Everything in heaven bows before God. And one of the things that you will see in the Psalms is that no one in heaven can compare to Him. No one in heaven can compare to His beauty. That the devil, say Lucifer, desired. Okay? No, the beauty of God only belongs to Him. The grandeur of God. So when, when you see uh, God, you will be mesmerized with God. Just like those angels around the throne of God. Always shouting, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Kadosh, kadosh, Yehovah Sebaot. So... You have seraphim always making a circle before him. And I don't know how many seraphim are there. Seraphim. This is plural. It can mean there are myriads of seraphim. And they are always above the throne of God shouting, Holy, holy is Yehovah Tsebaot. And one um, person uh, that I read said that every time they made, uh, they, they, they made this circle, these angels are always mesmerized. Someone who 
went to heaven said that these angels are struck by the glory and the power of God that they would go in circle every time they got struck with the uh, power and the glory the grandeur of God so they shout holy holy is the Lord God Almighty these are things that cannot be explained by the human eyes no human being or beings can ever, ever describe the grandeur of Yehovah. Honor and the next word is majesty. Okay, let's look at the word. And the Hebrew word is hadar. Okay, and it means magnificence or it can mean uh, his splendor, his beauty. So this is our God. God is a God who is grand. There is grandeur that uh, you see of God and at the same time splendor, the beauty of the throne of God. Okay? The beauty of heaven is only found in God. So tayo po who are here, we are to really must desire to see our Father when we take our last breath, that we will go to the Creator of our spirits, that we will long to be in His arms and uh, to love Him and to be at His foot worshiping Him day and night. So honor and majesty are before Him, lift nay before His face. So this is who God is. And then strength and beauty, okay? Strength and beauty, and the word for strength here is the word Oz. You're familiar with that? Oz. God is a strong tower, okay? Migdal Oz is, uh, or the Hebrew words for strong tower, he is the strength, and Oz actually points to um, somebody's masculinity, okay? Uh, power, might, strength, everything, okay? Force, he is full of might, just like a uh, wrestler, no? That uh, you see building up his muscles. And just a look at, at, at him, you find strength. But this guy obviously has no match with God. You will see his strength. And this is in his sanctuary. Inside his sanctuary, you will feel that might, that odds, and that strength of God. Hallelujah. And um, next is his beauty. And the Hebrew word is tiferet. The word here uh, can mean ornament, or it can mean uh, beauty again. It can mean majesty, but it's just the word is, he is like a jewel, okay? A fine jewel. That's really the, uh, the Hebrew word, the literal uh, word for this in Hebrew. So he is like a precious jewel a very very beautiful jewel he is i would say the jewel of heaven hallelujah well Anna, nothing can compare with our father and therefore when we are in heaven we just want to be in his presence we just want to be inside this temple strength and beauty are in his sanctuary that is in his house in his place of worship and I believe for you just to enter the very doorway of the sanctuary of God in heaven, you will be struck already with that strength and beauty of the Lord. You will uh, see His uh, might and power. All the honor will be there. All the majesty of God. And you will feel how great He is you will not just feel you will see that he is great and may ought to be praised hallelujah so 
I hope that uh, I was able to share to you something from the Word of God. I didn't really prepare for this. I just read it, meditated, and look at um, the meanings of uh, these words in Hebrew. So right now, let's all come to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we are mesmerized with uh, your word here. You are awesome, Lord. You are beyond description. And I know, Lord God, that uh, this is how your people want us to, uh, uh, this is how you want your people to see you, Lord God, so that we may sing to you a new song to bless your name, to show forth your salvation from day to day, declare your glory among the heathen and your wonders among the people. Father, open our eyes, O God, whenever we read scriptures like this, that we will not just simply read through, but we will take a moment to meditate. We have learned something about who you are, God, and may it be that we will always be at awe, O oh God, with uh, who you are. And I give you praise. I give you worship. I honor you, Lord God, tonight, uh, this afternoon. Oh, the glory, the honor, everything belong to you, mighty God. You are greatly to be praised. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabbi Yashay, Rabbi Yashay. Oh, Ravayashi, Kadavayasan, Yasan. Thank you, mighty God. And I give you all the praises and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. Praise God. Hallelujah. I hope that uh, you have received the Word of God and have enjoyed uh, the ministry of the Word of God. Now, I would like to uh, remind everybody that this Sunday, is again communion. We are again turning our calendar from June to July. Half uh, of uh, 2021 is done and now we are faced with uh, another six months and we have to pray that the goodness of God will continue to follow us and abide in our lives. So again, prepare tayo as a family as uh, we partake of communion together and may God bless every one of us. So, encouragement nako is for you to be again faithful sa inyong tithes, uh, sa inyong tithes of offerings and as well as uh, your vows to Project Joshua fulfill them and continue to pray that we will reach 170 million and God will bless uh, people there or among us to uh, give the hearts to construct the facility. May the Lord bless us in every way. Amen. So, final prayer. Father God, thank you very much for the word that we have, have uh, received. You are indeed awesome in every way, O oh God. And uh, may you continue to bless your people as they are faithful with the tithes, faithful with the offerings, and Project Joshua, bless them all mightily. And we give you all the glory and the honor. Be with your people this week. Keep them safe, especially from fire, earthquakes, floodings, and uh, this COVID-19. And we entrust ourselves to you. Under the blood, we hide ourselves, the blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God. And may Jehovah bless you and keep you. May Yehovah make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May Yehovah lift up His countenance upon you and grant you His shalom, both now and forever, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, thank you very much, and may the Lord's blessings be upon us all. Shalom to everybody.